The U.S. Air Force is planning to drastically alter its fighter jet procurement policy with a new plan that could require industry to begin to build and manufacture a new fighter in the coming years. The U.S. Air Force has expressed interest in replacing the F-16 with a new non-stealthy fighter jet. They've declared the need for a new multi-purpose fighter jet to replace their aging F-16 fleet while emphasizing that it won't be as expensive or as technologically advanced as the F-35. A group of aviation experts has partnered to design a new aircraft and they've come with a new fighter named the F-36 King Snake. Is it feasible for the U.S. Air Force to produce the F-36 King Snake fighter jet? It will use the F-22's engine, but less of a focus on stealth, and use digital engineering. The response is, of course, yes. The real question is about what the F-36 King Snake fighter jet is? If it'll happen the need for a sub-fifth generation fighter isn't set in stone just yet, but the Air Force will decide by 2023 given the Air Force recent admission that it designed and built its secret sixth generation fighter jet in just one year a plane like the F-36 could be built relatively quickly. The F-36 is driven by three principles. 1. Pace of production. 2. Affordability. 3. The ability to implement new technology in the future. If the F-35 is a Ferrari and the F-22 is the Bugatti Chiron, the U.S. Air Force wants a Nissan 300ZX according to Hush Joe. The F-22 and the F-35 are very difficult and costly to maintain operate and upgrade the F-36 must be faster to develop and upgrade than the F-35 and did not feature such exquisite technologies. Where does the F-36 name comes from? The F-36 name comes from King Snakes which are long-lived North American snakes that can live up to 30 years which bodes well for the F-36 service life. The King Snakes get their name from their habit of eating other snakes which is a fitting nickname for a warrior build to take the place of the viper they use constriction to kill their prey and tend to be a portion stick in their diet. The common King Snake is known to be immune to the venom of other snakes. The F-36 King Snake is a potential new fighter designed to address the issue of the U.S. Air Force's F-16 fighter. The method could be sped up by reproposing existing technologies and if it goes into production the finished product will be a non-stealthy aircraft that can still use low observability technology and current technologies such as the F-22 Raptors F-119 PW-100 engine where it could achieve a peak speed of Mach 2. F-36 engine. The F-22 Raptor Force will also profit from the engine's return to production returning the engine to output is expected to take 3.5 years requiring early test aircraft to borrow from the Raptor. The King Snake can be equipped with an APG-83 Advanced Electronically Scanned Array Radar which is the same as the one used in the new F-16 as well as an infrared sensor device derived from the Legion Electro-Optical Targeting Pod. According to Hushkit such a project requires a quick description process, one that moves quickly enough to avoid port barreling as well as the retention of a low radar to prevent the inclusion of any new technology functions or excess weight gains during production. In a nutshell, it's the shortest most basic production line based on existing technologies and components this will obviously reduce the cost of production and development time and if the proposal has been approved. The aim is to get the plane in the air as soon as possible perhaps even before 2030. Well of course it's just an idea right now and none of the military aviation firms have submitted design proposals but that hasn't stopped enthusiasts from imagining what the new plane could look like for example aviation magazine Hashkit collaborated with enthusiasts and artists to create this design which is eerily similar to the F-16 XL which after the Northrop YF-23 is probably the world's most capable multi-role fighter that never made it beyond the prototype stage. Hushkit has gathered a team of experts to create a fictional plane. F-36 New Technology, Charles Q. Brown, the Air Force Chief of Staff also recently revealed that the Air Force is looking to buy a new jet as a partial replacement for the F-16 Viper. Now a group of experts has banded together to create a sort of dream jet that could fill the void. The Air Force's F-16C fighter jets have an average age of 28.7 years putting a 20-year production time for a new jet out of the question. 
Instead, experts want a quick design process that would freeze the plane specs in a year and rely on basic construction techniques but could also use new technology like 3D printing to get the fighter off the assembly lines faster. F-36 shape, in terms of the plane's shape, it could have 1. A lower density design with surplus volume surplus electrical generation restricted onboard machine intelligence and maximum data connecting the plane fuselage from the use of 3D printing and less reliance. 2. A lower density design with surplus volume surplus electrical generation and less reliance on low radar signature than the F-35 or F-22 is also suggested. 3. A lower density design with surplus volume surplus electrical generation and less reliance on low radar signature than the F-35 or F-22. What inspired the F-36 wings? The wing is inspired by the F-16 XL. The inboard section of the cranked arrow has increased sweep back resulting in a powered high lift vortex without the use of a four plane. The wing is effective at high speeds resulting in a fighter that is quicker than the F-35 for missions outside the visible range. The wing also provides 1. Plenty of room for fuel. 2. External hard points. 3. Low wave drag. 4. Good thrust to weight ratio. The big wing can provide an excellent instantaneous turn rate and easy maneuverability. Its excellent sustained turn output is less critical since the primary design is far beyond the visible range. F-36 Cockpit As for the cockpit, the F-35's cockpit design was undoubtedly a step ahead of the competition. Pilots also criticized it for its lack of a head-up display as well as the lack of feel and unreliability of inputted commands due to the touchscreen-centric approach. Both problems will be addressed in the F-36 cockpit which will have a widescreen head-up display and a joint helmet-mounted queuing system. Is the F-36 a multi-role fighter? The King Snake will be a multi-role bomber, similar to the F-16, capable of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground operations, with missiles and guided bombs, according to popular mechanics. Weapons would be carried in internal bays as non-stealthy aircraft both would be carried on wings mounted external hardpoints. The King Snake would also have a rifle allowing it to strafe attacks on enemies. It will also come with modern infrared missiles almost guaranteeing a kill before fighters hit. The merge of a gun to fighters could seem outdated and Stephen McFarlane was doubtful that one was needed. The F-36 has a rifle for a variety of reasons the first is political. The gunless fighters have a bad rep, and the second is practical. Any F-16 replacement would almost certainly perform the closed air support mission. So what does a hypothetical F-36 look like we wondered? Well with the assistance of Stephen McFarlane who worked for 22 years at Radradera at Farnborough developing and validating aerodynamic design methodologies for most military aircraft using low-speed transonic and supersonic wind tunnels and James Smith who played key technical roles in the construction of the UK's leading military aviation programs from Azram and Nimrod to the JSF Enduro Fighter Typhoon and the illustrator Andy Godfrey from the Tesla studio to provide a visual representation. We can't wait for such a super-duper aircraft incorporating various technologies from the fifth-generation fighters. Thanks for watching till the end. If you like the video smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.